so sir recently i've heard that ontario has a new program for french speakers uh, like which requires just clb5 so uh, do you think it is doable in a small timeline so clb5 level score in uh, tcf or tef canada exam yeah so yeah there is this scenario where quite a few students approach us and either they have very high crs scores so they are they just need like four or five crs points to be in a good position to get invite or yes as, as you just mentioned there are some programs by ircc which require you to only have clb5 level in french and that you have to prove that by getting that score in tef or tcf canada exam but usually i am sure as you are aware that to get a significant crs point benefit you need to get clb7 level score it's not very easy to get clb5 level score which is b1 plus in tef or tcf canada exam so it still is going to take you about 6 to 8 months of dedicated effort when i say dedicated like every day about you know 3 hours a day dedicated study so this is the best case scenario whenever i say some stuff like this this is always the best case scenario okay if a student is preparing with all the focus and they have some affinity for the french language then probably this is possible so we are talking about clb5 level score concretely what you need to know is uh, you need to know present tense you need to know the past tense in french both of them passé composé imparfait you need to know definitely uh, imperative like the commands you need to know future tenses future sample future uh, push you need to know conditional tenses that's also the mood conditional and let's say subjunctive present subjunctive basic subjunctive basic okay so what i'm saying is i'm trying to give you guys an idea of how much is required so there is some upper limit if you are only targeting clb5 there is an upper limit which is slightly lesser than what you need for clb7 okay apart from this the other very important grammar topics such as prepositions and conjunctions and all those definitely you need them conjunctions prepositions pronouns all of those things there is not a huge gap been the requirement for the two levels but the thing is that expectations are less in clb5 so for example you are probably allowed to make more mistakes while speaking uh, also if you are able to maintain a conversation in french up to 7 minutes while speaking that's more than good enough to get clb5 uh, level score and if you are able to write up to 200 words essays in french with you know desirable amount of quality with uh, acceptable number of mistakes then yeah that's a criteria for clb5 so from the historical evidence we have had students who have spent 6 uh, to 7 months with us and when they started with us they were at a1 or a0 level and they have gone on to achieve clb5 scores in tef exam right so i can say from experience of the students that it is completely possible to obtain that score in 6 to 8 months of dedicated efforts again that's a cliche but just by joining some institute and studying french for 6 to 8 months that is not how you will get it you have to spend a lot of energy and focus and uh, you have to be very consistent with your efforts as i said 3 hours a day for example let's look at this particular result this was a student who joined us in august 2020 prior to joining us he had completed about 2 months of french training from a local institute in his city he was with us from august till december so he gave the exam as you can see in the mid december so about 5 months and then 2 months before that he was studying in a local institute so but he was a very very regular student one of our most regular and most consistent student he put in lot of efforts and as you can see within that timeline of 6 to 7 months or 7 to 8 months he was able to get a decent score roughly equivalent of clb5 level score as you can see uh, so it's possible definitely possible within that timeline